Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding topics. The first one is something I saw on this Instagram page, I'm not gonna pretend like I came up with this idea, I saw it on this page, who is the best bodybuilder, and they asked a very interesting question, something that I haven't really thought about, and I thought it was worth making a video about, so basically what they say, what would happen if Nick Walker brought this kind of package? to the Mr. Olympia stage this year. And you guys probably remember, this was like one week or two weeks out of the 2023 Mr. Olympia before Nick tore his hamstring before that Mr. Olympia and he wasn't able to compete that year. But he posted these shots, a couple of shots that actually looked crazy last year. And after we saw this, a lot of us were like, if he competed and looked like this, he could have won the Mr. Olympia. Now, as you all know, Nick Walker recently competed at the New York Pro, and that edition of him wasn't exactly his best of all time. I think it was the biggest, but conditioning wasn't as tight as it was in 2023, for example, and also he had some uh, trouble controlling his midsection. That was probably connected, you know. I feel like they probably tried to bring him as big as possible without really sacrificing any of the size, any of the fullness, and, you know, it still went well, he won the New York Pro, he qualified for the Mr. Olympia, but he almost lost to a second-tier bodybuilder, basically, Martin uh, Fitzwater, so it wasn't exactly, it wasn't a convincing win. It really didn't send a message that Nick was, you know, coming to the Mr. Olympia, you know, to win it. It felt like a lot of people feel like he is now out of the top four, top five even, conversation based on his last performance which is totally understandable as they say you're only as good as your last show and nick did not look his absolute best at the new york pro but you know you probably noticed that nick does the best when he's under a lot of pressure when people are not expecting him to do that well like nobody thought he was gonna win the arnold classic nobody thought he was gonna be top three at the mr olympia or top five at the mr olympia and people knew that he was going to win the New York Pro. People kind of expected him to win the second Arnold Classic. So when people have expectations from Nick Walker, he tends to fail. I don't know if that's just a coincidence. I don't feel like it. I think it's not. I feel like that now that people are kind of saying that he's going to be out of top five or whatever, he's going to be driven more than ever. And he's going to try and prove something. But I also think that the reason why he displayed what he displayed at New York Pro was because that was the game plan. They tried to bring him fuller and bigger. And now after receiving all the feedback, I'm pretty sure they're going to go for the dry shredded completely shredded look that they were aiming to bring for the mr olympia 2023 take a look at nick walker right here at two weeks out of the 23 mr olympia that never happened for nick now he was shredded here he was dry and it's not like he dehydrated for this this was again two weeks out so he was probably just flat and lean lean peeled I mean, look at the freaking glutes. Like, look at how lean and dry they are. They did not look like this even on the New York Pro stage. And here is what he looked like at two weeks out of the New York Pro, at a Pittsburgh Pro guest posing stage. So this conditioning was nowhere near what it was before the 2023 Mr. Olympia. So what I'm thinking is that they figured it out. They realized that that game plan wasn't exactly the best. For the Mr. Olympia, Nick needs to be peeled out of his mind bring something similar conditioning wise to this version right here obviously he's a little bit flat he would carb up later but this conditioning was you know next level he was shredded here look at this i mean look at the chest separation look at the legs the vascularity in the legs and like the thinness of the skin and then also the midsection and that's the thing when he gets that lean that dry I think he loses some of the size in the waist as well. When you're trying to be as big as full, yeah, he is bigger, but his waist tends to stay also a little bit bigger. So when he loses a little bit more weight, his waist will shrink as well. So I hope this is the game plan for this year's Mr. Olympia as well. Because if they bring something similar to this, I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that he can win the Mr. Olympia, but... 
I definitely don't see him placing out of top 5. If he comes in like this, I mean, I can see him in the top 3. I can definitely see him beating Andrew and Hunt Labrada, but I don't know who he can beat as far as Hardy, Samson and Derek, but if one of those three guys doesn't bring 101% and Nick does, it's possible he can take one of them out, at least. I don't know, man, it's probably even possible he can win the Mr. Olympia. It's not that uh, far stretch, if you ask me. But we'll see what kind of package he's gonna bring. I mean, this was insane, absolutely nuts. And I think this would be absolutely the right play. He can do what uh, like Samson did in 2022 when he came in really big and really full, but not in the best conditioning and he placed well. He can't do that because Samson also has really nice looking shape, really good aesthetics. Nick doesn't have that. And also, he has a ton of muscle. So even if he comes in lighter, with a little bit less fullness, but peeled out of his mind, he's still gonna be one of the, if not the biggest guy in that top five. And I don't see anybody else challenging this conditioning up there. Maybe Hadi, but that's it. So if Nick brings something crazy like this, man, anything is possible the way I see it. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, next up, we got an update from Michal Krizo 10 days after his uh, shoulder surgery. And by the way, I know you guys, uh, you Americans, call uh, him Michael Krizo, but I can't make myself pronounce his name wrong. It's uh, Michal and it's Krizo, but whatever. 10 days after his shoulder surgery, this is an update we got. So basically, here he is with his uh, doctor, I guess, uh, or uh, his uh, physical therapist working on improving his uh, shoulder mobility, I guess, after the surgery. And as you can see, like his mobility is very limited and he's going through a lot of pain uh, trying to move his arm even slightly. But it's been only 10 days and shoulder surgeries tend to be nasty. So at this point, you know, he's not doing good. He's not looking good. His arm is uh, still swollen, there is some bruising going on still, but I mean, yeah, I'm glad that he did it finally, I mean, he was going through a lot of pain for a long time, he had two torn tendons for like over a year, and it was limiting him from training uh, the way he was supposed to train, so I mean, it's a miracle that he was even able to train and to look as good as he did and do what he did, but now after doing this, I feel like once he recovers, he will probably reach the next level after this, and also, it's gonna be interesting to see Krizo, like, I, I don't think I ever saw him not in shape. Since I've known about him, I've been following him, he was always in crazy shape. He always had that crazy fullness and roundness and always in really good condition, even in the offseason. So now that he's not able to train, he's gonna lose a lot of that volume. He's gonna look much, much smaller in the next uh, 10 weeks or so. We probably won't be able to recognize him, but uh, after that, it's gonna be also interesting to see how, how fast he comes back. Because he's gonna be off the gear, as he said, during this time, of course. And I don't feel like he's gonna be training, like, legs or his left side. I mean, maybe he will, but I just don't think he is gonna do that. So after, like, another 10 weeks, I think the recovery is gonna last, like, 12 weeks. Uh, he's gonna lose a lot of size, a lot of conditioning, and then... Once his body is refreshed also, I think it's gonna respond like crazy. It's gonna be like a Kevin Levron transformation, and I can't wait to see that. And we also got a new physique update from Brett Wilkin at four and a half weeks out of Legion Sports, where he's gonna try and qualify for the Mr. Olympia 2025, and he's gonna face uh, Patrick Moore. Now, this is what Brett looks like right now, and uh, it's interesting also that Phil Heath commented down below. He says... Arms came up big time, delts around her, don't hide them lats on that pose, as I know you got them, uh, great work brother. So, is Phil Heath right? Well, I think I have to concur, I mean, the shoulders are looking wider and bigger, I mean, he maybe is a little bit narrow in the shoulders, but, like, would you say he's narrow now? I don't think so, I mean, with this much muscle in the shoulders, and he's basically known for that, like, his upper chest and uh, front shoulder area, he has so much muscle there, and now with more size in, like, the side delts, like, the roundness in the shoulders, it looks crazy, and, and arms also, like, I don't think his triceps were ever this, this round, uh, his arms were never this wide, so he definitely improved those freaking arms, 
And I wonder why Phil he didn't mention his legs. Because that's basically where I see the most improvement. I mean, the legs, like, now they're not looking uh, smaller in his upper body. Even though his upper body came up, his legs are looking massive as well. Now, I would like to see more details, maybe, especially, like, in the center, middle center part. Hopefully, they will appear once he's uh, really ready for the stage. But, like, uh, the lateralis, the, the, the outer head, and, like, the vest medialis, the teardrop, I think he added some tissue to those parts. Like, his legs overall, the width of the legs, the size of the legs, it's all definitely looking better and bigger. But we'll see what he's gonna look like once he's actually ready for the stage, but at this point, he is looking phenomenal, honestly. I feel like he's winning Legend Sports against Patrick Moore, and I feel like this guy has a lot of potential, you know, for the Mr. Olympia. Especially, like, next year. 2025, you know, if he makes more improvements, he's gonna be really dangerous at that show. What do you guys think? Whatever you think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.